Radio Free Tatooine presents Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast. Boshuda, fellow Hollow Table Hustlers, you're tuned in to Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast that's better than some and worse than others. I'm Sean, a.k.a. The Other Sean, and sitting across the hollow table from me is John, a.k.a. The Uncanny Mr. H. Hello. And tonight, today, this morning, whenever you're listening, we've got a smaller episode because it's a part one of two, I guess. Uh, yeah. Sort of. The prelude to the big show. I don't know. Um, we, uh, we have... An interview coming soon with Capital Games should be ready for you on Monday. That's the plan. So hopefully that'll be dropping uh, uh, on on Monday. A big big production with them and kind of uh, cross promoting with Operation Metaverse and uh, uh, Sig Sig from SWGOHEvents.com. Yeah, it's a big it's a big uh, shindig, and uh, obviously we're not going to say a whole lot about what it's about, but it was a uh, it was a lot of fun to work with uh, some some different folks. I mean, we we know uh, Sig, I, he's in our guild, like, but we've never really worked with him mm-hmm. for a lot of things. And uh, same with Operation Metaverse, like we've we're acquainted, but it was we're nice. All to former actually... game changers, so we know each other. Yeah. through that but yeah so in passing but no it, it was it was a lot of fun to, to change it up and we've we've been really working more with a lot of different people lately and yeah, it's been a lot yeah it's been a lot of fun i mean we actually got even after this we've got some more stuff planned uh in the next couple of weeks mm-hmm. uh so hopefully you guys are checking out everywhere we're at i know it's, it's a lot of it's, we're everywhere us. now it's a lot of us a lot of us a lot of us um yeah this week We've got some exciting stuff. Not a whole lot, but some. You can Um, tell by the yawn he suppressed. (laughs) Yeah, it was in there, wasn't it? (laughs) It was in there. Um, It's uh, uh, been a pretty light week for in-game actual, like, happenings. But um, we did find out some new information about the next season of Grand Arena Championships. So that's cool. We got the November events calendar. And while it's not a direct update to the game, um, these Galactic Legends have flooded the tables. So we're going to talk a little bit about those as well, just to see kind of how they're working out for people. Um, Not that we are fortunate enough to have any yet. but No, but we will check in on that progress as well. Yeah. Um, but, uh, one last reminder, this is the final episode of Galactic War Report on (laughs) the Radio Free Tattooing Network feed. So going forward, they're all just going to, this is going to be so interesting to see next week if we only have four listeners or something, because (laughs) that'll be be a really big, because the other dozen didn't, uh, Now, uh, so, yeah, follow us on the Galactic War Report feed, wherever you're getting us, if that's through Stitcher, if that's through Spotify, Apple, wherever. Um, just make sure you're subscribed to Galactic War Report, not the Radio Free Tattooing Network feed, as that is about to just disappear into the ether. Or I, well, it'll still be there, but it won't be updated. Yeah, we we actually been I mean, we I say uh, Sean has been working hard to fix everything, make it more consistent, um, including mm-hmm. our our Discord now that we have for our patrons. Yeah, uh, Sean did a big rework of how all that's organized. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at our uh, patron rewards. We're going to be reviewing those soon. We're talking about opening up the Discord to everybody. Um, talking Let about all the because, riffraff in. But then the problem is we're like, well, then why would people give us any money? So <laughs> we're, trying to, <laughs> we're trying to figure out what a good base level is for our, our, our patrons then. Right, right. Um, 
because I, you know, I assume that if they don't have to pay it, it's just going to, everybody's going to drop those $1 subscriptions. You know? Yeah. That $1 is breaking the bank. Uh, so we're all working. If you guys have ideas, obviously let us know. I mean, whenever we've called for feedback in the past, it has been underwhelming. It depends. You guys, yeah. you guys are you guys are very good at passive listening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah. if you have any ideas, obviously it would be crazy to hear. Um, and yeah, so we're we're continuing to try to make it more consistent. Yeah. Shows are going up on YouTube. Um, if you want to wait a day or two, or a week, Exploring. depending on when Sean does it. <laughs> I know some some weeks I'm real good about it. Other weeks I forget completely and post two videos in one day. Yeah, I saw last week on my thing. I was like, oh, look, it posted. I was like, why the one before it just post with it? Yep. So, yeah. If you want it when it's fresh out of the oven, you got to get on the on the podcast. Maybe that'll be a patron exclusive. You get it at least in the right week. If you, if you, pay <laughs> you don't get any special. It's just you get to have it. <laughs> you just get it before it's completely out of date. Yeah. That's about right. Yep. I charge extra for that. Um, all right. Before we get into too much of uh the 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 meat uh the the real lean meat but the meat of of the episode let's take a look at upcoming events courtesy of swgohevents.com for a list of past present and future events in star wars galaxy of heroes there's no better resource on the web than swgohevents.com uh upcoming this week as we release, we've got Contraband Cargo, um, as well as Dathomir. It's probably Defense of Dathomir, if I had to bet. It's just listed. No, just Dathomir. Dathomir. Someone, Is that a Galactic Challenge? Yeah. It's like that get, must be a Galactic Challenge. On the phone. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, on the 24th, we'll have the Home 1 Fleet Mastery event. Uh, as well as a new territory war starting up, number 144. Uh, reminds me, I said defense for the one we're in. 25, uh, the 25th. 25. There you go. 25th, we've got a rebel roundup. Nothing new on the 26th, but we'll be doing some territory war stuff. So it'll be fun. Um, 27th, we have the Omega battle on Endor. Ooh, and then yeah, the baby. 25th, Looking forward to that one. I know. Ooh, that's a hot one. Take your three best units. Um, on the 28th, we've got a territory battle. It's the good one. Imperial retaliation and separatist might. Uh, as well as General's Command coming back, which is... Mine. The, uh, yes, the finalizer shards, blueprints. And on the 29th, we have Places of Power, which is mine. I like that. That's the, which one's that? That's where you fight against the Jedi, right? Yeah, you use Sith or First Order. You can. That's the one you, you can do. Yeah, that. I mean, I should. I should be fine with that. I got uh, the Sith. Yeah, my my Revan, Palpatine, Vader, like those guys, just chew that up. Yeah, man, my Sith are getting better. Yeah, because they have to be. But I'm sure. I'm sure Slicker can handle that, right? Oh, probably. Like, yeah. I mean, I haven't tried it. Get but. you some. I'll, I'll get me some. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? We have uh, the Grand Arena Championships season. What is it? 12. It's a bounty hunter season with a portrait of Carl Weathers. Not, can... not Grief Karga. Just Carl Weathers. Just Carl Weathers. <laughs> Looking like I'm like the handsome devil he is. Wearing, wearing boxing gloves, you know, living in <laughs> dang, America. Dang. <laughs> um, no, that's a really cool one. And the, uh, the Django one is, it's, it's a nice little portrait. I like that. Um, what are the feats right here? I thought it was in here. You thought wrong, sir. I guess so. Are links always goofy on this now or? Okay, so I thought there was a decent title that you could get now, too. Um, No, I don't see it. But anyways, Bounty Hunters, sure, I can use them on attack. That's easy enough. Mine are not. Mine are, they're they're fine. 
There's one where you have to use Cad Bane and Embo. Maybe I'll what? use them with Ray or something. How, <laughs> I can't, let me let's let's play a game. It's pretty rough. Do I have my M, I, do I have my Embo unlocked? Use one with Zam and Django. Sure, I could do that. Um, we're gonna have to use these on some squishy defenses, but I think it could. I think it could work. Oofa doofa. Oh, uh, I, I thought of you when I saw this one. This is this is what I was thinking of. Uh, our identity. Defeat six enemy units in Grand Arena with characters who wear Mandalorian armor. That's your chance, John. Gar and Super Commando. Did they include him on They there? count! With, Did of they... course, Mando, Boba, Django, and Sabine. I say they better have Sabine on yeah. there. That's a pretty fun one. I like it. Yeah, I like that too. There's one uh, where you... Uh, defeat six enemies with characters who had ties to the Shadow Collective, which okay. is a boatload of characters. Aura Singh, Boba, Bosk, Young Han, Han, uh, Darth Maul, Talzin, Maul, Savage, yeah. Kira, Zam, Django, IG-88, Greedo, Embo, Dengar. That's, oh, and Cad Bane. I, I think I skipped him. Um, that's good I like that yeah. I like that yeah I like it so that's fun um, it's is this the one no this is not the one um, <laughs> this 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 is the, the the new one the next one that pops up is going to be a 3v3 Ugh. I didn't want 3v3 we haven't had it in a while. Mm-hmm. I, I do I do generally enjoy it, but in the in the day of Galactic Legends, it's gonna be less and less fun when there's when people have two of them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I, I we'll see how it shakes out. Back to the one fleet. Oh. That's good. Whatever. I never get to ships anyways because they always set Ray in front of it and I we were talking in our Doth chat before the show. That uh, I don't beat Ray on Galactic on uh, Grand Arena. I'm not going to say I can't, but I don't. Okay. I usually just fight around it and don't bother and with just, it. Just you know, let it run. See what you happens. Know, that's usually honestly what I do. Occasionally I'll try and I never beat it. So <laughs> that's why I, I don't try that often. Um, I know you can do it with Vader and Thrawn and Watt. Um, so I used to really? use Watt on defense. I'm stupid, but whatever. Um, I have pulled him from my defensive teams so that I can use him uh, to try and take out a Ray. My opponent has Ray this time, so we'll see how that works out. My guess, it won't. Work out. <laughs> I, was trying to I was looking at this this fancy SWHCounters dot com. Oh yeah, which we have referenced previously, mm-hmm. and I don't remember seeing there being any kind of Vader counter listed on here. You mean using Vader or? Yeah, yeah. I've seen videos of it. Um, I mean, I believe it exists, but I was I was going yeah. by this site because I don't. Once you fracture Ray, it's a very different battle. And then she's so, in the mirror with tons of them. Um, right. <laughs> no, you uh, uh, you fracture Ray, and Vader just can do his thing and take care of the rest of the team. Vader being Vader. She's a, her fighting against a Ray team is only a pain because no one takes any damage because she keeps healing constantly. So if you fracture her, take her out of the equation. I wonder how isolate would work with that too. Though you're, you'd have to have your Treya survive. Mm, yeah. Yep. So, and that's that's the other thing is my uh, my Thrawn is gear twelve. So, mm. I don't know. I mean, just has to be fast enough to get a fracture off, right? But, I mean, I should really look into that because my Vader is Relic Seven for obvious reasons. Yeah. And my Thrawn is about to be Relic Four, I think. Yeah. And what's your Watt look like? He, he's gear 12 with the Zeta. Yeah. That should be able to... 
I mean, he should exists. be able to beat a Ray. Yeah, uh, that'd be useful. So, um, I'd like to talk. Oh, you had you had one other thing from the forums this week, right? Yeah, I saw. It. I was looking at something that Doja Fett posted on the nineteenth. Um, apparently, it was a player named the General who spent time chasing a fun goal. They got the gold wreath, so that'd be gear twelve, and Zayd at every female character in the game, this even week, Mob Enforcer. Even Mob Enforcer. This week they pulled it off. Oof. Um, and it's a nice post uh, that Doja Fett put up there about how you know it's great to play for different reasons and it's fun and everything. And it was just it was a positive post, mm-hmm. and it made me think about how we all interact with the game, mm-hmm. and it's something we touch on relatively often on our show about how you enjoy the game. And Mm -hmm. it it made me think about how I think it helps to have an alternative uh, motivation, like a secondary goal. Like when I had my gear 12 empire challenge for myself, when we've done for the quest for cup or, I mean, you've had several uh, different things. My relic Rolo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Or gear 13 Rolo. They didn't have relics at the time. Yeah. She's relic now though. Yeah, sure. Um, and I, I think it's probably a piece of advice that, I mean, we've kind of danced around, but I think specifically I, it's something I would want to, to advise people to do is to find something that is not going to help you in the game. Something you, mm-hmm. you don't think will give you any competitive edge whatsoever. Or not significant anyways. Well, sure, sure. Nothing like, nothing, like what I've been doing with Django Fett recently. It's or, not uh, an getting, imperative. Or getting um, Jedi Master Luke. That's probably not going to give you much. (laughs) (laughs) You you want something that's, you know, just some meaningless task. Go after uh, Galactic Legend. (laughs) I had the dunk from the free throw line on that one. No, but like find something that amuses you, that you find funny or that you find fun. uh, And just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's probably dumb. I almost guarantee you it's going to be dumb, but yeah. it'll be fun. And when you're talking with people about the game, you have some a fun thing to talk about, right, to, to interact with other people in the community about. Um, yeah. I mean, I yell about Gar Saxon, and he's a terrible character. Now, I, I would say don't only do that, right? Then you'll like, end I up mean, like us. You, <laughs> you want to have a couple good teams, you know. You no, wanna, but you I'm saying be able you to want, need to have achieve, a distraction. You know, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like in, in life, man. All mm-hmm. work and no play, like it's a game. Yeah, now, yeah I mean you want to be competitive, but enjoy it. You speaking of of dunking on uh, Jedi Master Luke, mm-hmm. I don't think you were on the Doth chat when I talked about my first encounter with Jedi Master <laughs> Luke. <laughs> you told me separately, but yes, which happened today. I took a screenshot after it started because I thought it was such. BS that it was happening in the first place. Um, so this was my second match of the day and I was just starting it in arena, right? Yeah. Um, I was just starting it up to start it and forfeit or throw it on auto and walk away, whatever. I just needed to have my second match done so I could get my daily reward, whatever. I, so I didn't really care. I hit auto and then I looked down and realized, I don't know how many turns I had taken, only one or two. I looked down and realized, oh, I'm going up against Jedi Master Luke. I I pull it off auto, and I want to I want to try this. I want to see what happens here. Um, because usually when there's a powerful new character, I just avoid it for six months. But <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I thought, all right, let's let's see what's going on. You stumbled into this one. I took a screenshot of of my situation after just one or two turns. Two characters were stunned. Um, one was close to death, so had like damage immunity from Ray. Sure. Um, another was close to that. Uh, no one had protection left. Everyone had like five or six debuffs. It was just. I, I took a screenshot like this. Uh, how is this? How am I supposed to win against this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I figured I'd use that in Discord and, and wine. Instead, 
Um, I just beat the snot out of him. <laughs> like, I mean, I really I took him to task. Yeah. Um, you, and I made some business. mistakes. I made some dumb moves. And still, you know, I even, I whirlwinded him. And I forgot, like, save your pops. I'm like, oh, great. There it goes. And uh, I kept hitting him, and he died. And I thought, that's it? Hmm. I mean, I mean, maybe he was close to getting his ultimate off. I wasn't. I, I, I was not aware of the kit as I was doing it. I was just like, kill Luke, kill Luke, please kill Luke. I did, and I was like, sweet. Now I just win. Great. So that was a little sad. I mean, I'm glad I won my match, right? But it was a little sad to see that uh, <clears throat> yeah. just, I could just stumble through it. with a was it like looking into your own future? <laughs> yep. It was exactly <laughs> like that. Well, look on the bright side. You used a Galactic Legend to defeat a Galactic Legend. Yes. Yeah. And in the process of getting this new Galactic Legend, I will end up with a Relic 7 Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Which is not bad. So uh, if if the Jedi Master is a, a bit of a, you know, dud... At least I got a Relic 7 Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker out of it, which is a, a really sad way to look at this. But, I mean, that's what I got. I'll have. Yeah. I mean, I have leveled up some Empire characters I was going to level up anyway at some point. Yeah. And also Sith Marauder. And also Sith Marauder. You'll have a good TIE Bomber, you know? A uh, better TIE Bomber. It'll be rough. They only need to be six stars. Yeah. Six I mean, granted, TIE Bomber is pretty legit, though. <laughs> I'm going to grind it all these seven because I want to, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's a, uh, it seems like it in, you know, the, the reports we're getting from the wild as it were, mm-hmm. that these, these galactic legends seem pretty well balanced against the other two galactic legends. Like overall, they did a pretty good job balancing. They might've been a little overly cautious. A little bit is my thought. But the problem is like, <sighs> Yes, obviously there, there's an art to balancing, and there will be people who yell, "But it's their job to figure it out." Yeah, okay, but mm-hmm. riding that line between, "Oh, these characters are so overpowered," and "Oh, why am I bothering to work on these characters?" Like it's it's such a fine line to mm-hmm. to uh, to walk. And there's there's so much pressure on it because the requirements are so demanding. Right, and by the time you get there, if it's not all you, you had hoped and dreamed it would be, you're like, oh, man, it's been months I've been doing this. Phantom Menace in the theater all over again. I don't think I realized how bad that was until after. Like, yeah. I was just excited to have new Star Wars at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's uh, it's rough. Let's let's talk meta for a second here. I want to I wanna do a quick breakdown. Because um, last week we looked at it, but, you know, I mean, this is a, it's a trickle the unlock of galactic legends as well as you know i mean after that people gradually unlock ultimates so um, sure take some time but we're still looking at a very dominant top two here with uh supreme leader kylo at 34 percent of first place teams uh and ray at 33 percent of first place teams i mean that's that's pretty close um they were before all this started, they were both like 37, right around there. Yeah. So Jedi Knight Revan is pulling 13% uh, in the leader slot, followed by General Skywalker with 6%. And then you start seeing these new guys, uh, Jedi Master Luke at 4%, Darth Revan at 3 Darth Vader at 2 Jedi Knight Luke at 2 Padme at 1 and then... Sith Eternal Emperor with 47 people. One so much easier to unlock. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It, they're not having a uh, right off the bat dominant run of the meta. And well, I think there's a reason for that. Not that I've used either one, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But just looking at their kits, it's not as obvious how to use them compared to Ray and Kylo and Supreme Leader Kylo, right? Hmm. Like with their ultimates being attacks, they have very straightforward abilities for the most part, right? I mean, there's a lot of intricacies in the back end, but it's I'm going to sure. keep hitting this dude until they die, right? Yeah. Um, whereas both Jedi Master Luke and uh, Sith Eternal Emperor, they are there's a finesse to them. It seems like with how you use them and, and how you use what in what order. Um, so maybe that's why they're not as much of an automatic, especially if you already have a, a Galactic Legend. Until you figure that out, you're not going to put them in an arena, right? I sure wouldn't. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just think it's not as obvious how to use them. And that is probably where some of the reluctance to or inability to use them properly comes in. Yeah. But again, com- that's complete conjecture. Yeah. Um, so, we'll continue to monitor this as it plays out over the next couple of weeks here. But um, so far, I'm a little underwhelmed with their. Um, performance you know i think something that's worth considering too as we look at this meta report is that one person took first place with jawa scavenger in the lead <laughs> so that's, one brave soul that's a true hero right there <laughs> that's that's just great um yeah. when you see uh someone had uh a holdo lead which is Great. Does she, even, she doesn't even have leader ability, does she? No. Neither does Jawa Scavenger or Hermit Yoda. Someone took lead with that. Um, that's just, that's, that's really special. So, um, for squads, we're really seeing the same. <clears throat> no significant changes to squads here. Um, the Jedi Master Luke squad that has placed the best has been Jedi Master Luke with General Skywalker, Jedi Knight Luke, uh, Hermit Yoda, and Jedi Knight Revan, which is the exact team I faced and demolished. So, Worth noting is that apparently nobody knows what to use with Sith Eternal Emperor because even those 47 people who took first place, Mm -hmm. none of those squads made it into the rank one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jedi Luke is like, who are the five best Jedi in the game? Slap them on a team? Sweet. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's that's almost exactly it. I mean, so it's what I expected, I suppose. Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised that the, the Sith Eternal Emperor isn't doing a little better. Um, but again, it's kind of a weird kit. I mean, I like I think, it. I feel like... It was much more, anecdotally, of course, it was much more split down the middle the first time around. People going for Kylo or going for Rey. Sure. This time, I feel like a lot more people went for Luke than Palpatine. Well, and I think it's what we talked about with the requirements, right? Like, there were a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. But it was all stuff people were going for anyway. Or even if it wasn't something that you already had, like, top-end players, like, if you had Jedi Knight Luke... You had all this stuff. Or not all, but a lot of this stuff. Right. And and really top players are gonna have the the components sitting around um for all this all these characters besides the brand new ones that, you know, we're all diligently chipping away at our Mon Mothmas and and backpack chewies. So whereas, yeah, I think with Sith Palpatine, there's more uh, Sith Eternal Emperor, there's a lot more curveballs there with characters that just... Yeah, there's some weird ones. Uh, like I said, I was in a good place with my, like, my Veers in the Stark and mm-hmm. whatnot, but you know, there's a lot of people who weren't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Certainly. Um, for uh r- for characters, it's really all the same stuff. This didn't uh, affect the top character meta at all until you get down to Jedi Master Luke at, you know, 
15th place or something like that. Um, it's not like he revitalized a faction because all the people that you use on that team is basically your old Ray team that, um, in fact, what is the top Ray team? I'm almost certain it's, yeah, it's the exact same four, uh, characters. You just pull her and plop Jedi master Luke in the leader slot. Yeah. Baby, you guys do. (laughs) For for what it's worth, uh, that same person who used Jawa Scavenger also appears to put Jawa in the lineup because they also have <laughs> Jawa is down there, and I I don't know. Hmm. I'm desperate to know what else they had in the squad because there's only two Jawas in here. Mm-hmm. So what? I demand to have oh, an answer. What were they doing? I I kind of maybe it was just those two. That's <laughs> all you need. Unless for some reason they cut off the list after a certain point, but it looks like it's alphabetical because it ends at Zalbar and all the ones that are tied. Yeah. Jeez. I will, honestly, what I am surprised to see is that there's only one Magna Guard out of all that, right? Like you think yeah, just. I am a little surprised a, to see that. But there's only one Grievous who took first place out of all their sample size. Like you'd think hmm. on younger shards, right? You would think. But no, no huh. probably not. Well, I think a lot there of those two. younger shards, if. Like, I mean, people do alt accounts or they do new accounts or whatever. That's but, true. like, I think those really competitive people aren't going for Grievous off the bat. They're going for Revan. Here's what I can tell you, though, Sean. Is that the same number of uh, people who got first place with Grievous got this first place with Jaws Scavenger? That's, yeah. <laughs> it's the same number. That is, wow. That's true. Ah, oh, alas, poor Grievous. <laughs> um so yeah that's that's the meta the state of things fleet we're not even looking at fleet you know fleet didn't change <sighs> it might have this one time don't think it, it did didn't. no don't think it did um we may be seeing more no we won't be seeing more rebel y wings that's it's not happening no maybe a few more tie bombers but it's it's not significant um so if it ain't broke don't fix it right if you're uh yeah so that's uh that's basically it for the week um wasn't a super exciting week it's just a few things trickled out and a few things more will trickle out next week gross um it's it's a a time of trickling Mm -mm, don't Mm. care for that nope (laughs) well you know what it is a time for Oh, I'm scared to ask. Grind it. Mm, Who are you grinding? <laughs> Who are you trickling? <laughs> never, never grind while you have a trickle. Um, <laughs> well, I did finish up uh, Count Dooku. Mm. He's at Relic 6. He's at, He was at Relic 4 last week. So, you know, there's that. Mm-hmm. Um. I just got somebody to gear 13 today. I don't remember who it was because I, I didn't note it in my notes. Hmm. But just say, ah, that's who it was. It was Sith Marauder. Oh. Uh, I got Marauder up to 13. So he's almost done. Just, yeah, I just got to go to like 7. <laughs> it's so um, cruel. It really is. Uh, Piet is moving along. I'm not going crazy with refreshes. Uh, he's at 46 out of 65. Was at 24 out of 65, so making you know, moving along. Hmm. Still got Tarkin at gear 13, haven't got any relics on him. Uh, I threw two relic levels at Thrawn this week, so he's up to two. Isn't the first relic level like free? I just haven't gotten to it. Okay, (laughs) I was just curious. I mean, I have it, I just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, um, I focus so like when I was doing Dooku's, I didn't want to end up spending all my low level ones. Hmm. And then have to I, I could have counted, but that's for the birds, man. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Thrawn, I got the relic two. Uh, okay. Sidious still at thirteen. Maul still is just gear thirteen. Yeah. Marauder joined the crew uh, at thirteen. Tide bombers at thirty-seven out of eighty-five, which is up from fourteen out of eighty-five. So again, hmm. a nice little slow grind there. I, I really don't think I have to put a lot into that. Like, my my theory thus far is proving out that all I need is. 48 shards on that before I finish everything else. And I think that's super achievable. Yeah. Yep. Totally. 
so, I mean, now, aside from uh, the Petit Admiral, hmm. everybody is at um, gear 13. Hmm. So, yeah, it's, nice. it's just it's just relics and grinding those last shards on uh, Piet. And actually, I think I got him ready to go to 12 as soon as I. Uh, nope, I'm one piece away. I need to grab. Well, let's see. We just refreshed. Oh, dear. We did. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and do this live on air. The live grind. There. Now I have enough to do it. Some people stream their Grand Arena championships. We stream audio of us just simming nodes. Yeah. I mean, I'll describe it to you in very vague terms. There. Now I have all the gear necessary to bring them to gear 12 as soon as I can do that, which is, mm, let's see, a bunch of shards away. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to touch – I'm not going to be grinding any gear at this point. I'm going to try and stockpile some of the easier stuff to find in the stores and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But Well, the underwhelmingness of these two characters so far just kind of reaffirms my choice to just go with the flow. I'm not going crazy with refreshes. I ain't got the crystal to go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just – I'm staying on track – Chugging along, I'll, I'll, I'm. Just, let me think. Realistically, I got so many relic levels to do. Mm. I mean, I'm not getting this full before the end of the year. Mm-mm. No. I mean, what? What are we? Ten weeks away? Nah. It, my guess is mid January to February. I'll be getting set the Eternal Emperor. God, it always seems so depressing when I try and actually project out when I'm going to get things. I, I don't do it because, yeah, it is. But I'm on, I'm on the Still rails, baby. Blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then I well, when I sit down and write like write out how far I am from everything, mm-hmm. I can't help but project how long it's going to take me. Yeah. But again, that's a complete guess. Maybe I'll. Yeah, you never know. With territory battles in there, I'll get a big burst of crystals. Who knows? It's just it's all going to be cantina grinds. Yeah. For all that route, so unless I get another place to get signal data between now and then somehow, but places of power. Those challenge tiers. It's like is it only the is it the higher level ones? It it's is not like challenge. Um, challenge tiers two and three. Yeah, not the easy one. No, Re- no, relative. Well, I got a good first order. We'll see. What about you? Uh, who are you grinding with that trickle? I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm just working on Luke requirements. Mm. Uh, Jedi Master Luke. And Luke the Jedi Master variety. Yeah, I. I don't know. I, I've bumped everyone who is not a part of that out of my favorites. Oh. So. That, that's not getting serious, huh? Yeah. Um, I Well, part of that was that I took Watt up to gear 11 where I wanted mm. him. I got him to 11 and I looked at what it takes to get to 12 and I thought, nah, nope. Um, I got Django up to 12. I wanted to do that. I got General Skywalker up to Relic 5. I wanted to do that. So now I can just focus, right? Um, Right now, the only one who's Gear 13 and in Relics who isn't where they need to be is Lando. So he's my my Relic focus to get him up from 3 to Mm 5. My Rebel Y-Wing is doing pretty well. I've got that up to... Uh, three out of eighty-five. So yeah, it's coming along. I'll be done with that in plenty of time. Um, in addition, we've got let's see, Zeta situation. I think most recent one was still Django. I don't think I've done one since then. Um, and I don't. I don't have any plans for any new ones. But I uh, still need Old Ben at Gear Twelve. Mon Mothma is at 53 out of 65, and Backpack Chewie is at 7 out of 85. So we're moving. Um, the DJs turn down the lights and put on a slow song, and you're just, just, just grinding. Just grind it. Just grind it out. Um, Jedi Knight Luke is very close to gear 13. He's on his last piece, but it's one of those like right side gear 13 pieces that is 
all components that are only ship energy. Yeah. And yep. Just, Terrible. Yeah. So we're working on that. Um, besides that, who else do I have? Princess Leia has a ton of gear. She still needs. She's at 12. Wedge is very close to 12. Uh, Biggs is at 12 and, and yeah, Lando is at relic three. So that's, you're moving along. It. Um, it's not super exciting, but like you were saying, do a fo- uh, a weird little distraction. Well, I did those. Now I have to focus for a bit. It yeah. I was, me. They, when they renounced the Sith emperor, I was, I was having fun with some side projects, mm-hmm. and I'm going to get back to them. I'll tell you I what: the I'm... next batch of Galactic Legends they announce. Skipping those, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my eyebrow for a second and like really think about how bad I want it. Mm. Well, again, hypothetically, it's mm-hmm. going to be a while till we get more Galactic Legends. Mm-hmm. That being said, I don't know if I buy that. <laughs> because they said it wasn't going to be too long. It was going to be a while before we got these, and yet here we are. Yeah. So That's I true. don't know. I mean, I can't think of any glaring needs for characters they have. They need for Galactic Legends, but yeah, there's Mando season two coming out. Who knows what kind of cool things might come out of that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, there's not much else on for Star Wars on the horizon right now. Like they were kind of taking a pause to figure things out even before the pandemic. And that mm-hmm. hasn't exactly sped things up. Yeah. Yeah, really. Now let's get the Yuzong Vong in here and we'll see how. That's the next galactic legend. Well, that's all we got for you this week. It may not be the best advice, but at least we didn't recommend going crazy for all these new galactic legends. <laughs> Just let yeah. them come to you. Play hard to get. Galactic War Report is brought to you by our Patreon supporters. Learn how to become one and get access to our Discord server at patreon.com slash galactic war report. As always, big thanks go out to our Sandcrawler level supporters, CT1980, Devin Doctorman, John T. Pacetic Jr., and SWGOH.gg. If you like what you hear, please consider showing your support with a rating and or review through your podcast medium of choice. Thanks for tuning in, and may the Force and RNG be with you.